Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vehicle. Today we're looking at the Aspire Revo. It's a vehicle coil tank. Let's get on with it. Boom! It's 24 by 41. Well, let's use the extension. It's 24 by 45. <laughs> with the extension, it's got two. Without the extension, it has a two mil capacity. And with the extension, it's got a three or six millix mill millimeters. This is going to be quite a short uh, video because there's not really much to say about it. Uh, <coughs> so let's have a look. Shall we start taking it apart? Mm hmm. So, first thing we can see, <clears throat> here is valve mouthpiece, here is valve free airflow, now the airflow goes in and if you look in the centre there's an inner metal tube which pushes the airflow down, so the airflow is coming in there, down onto your coil and then back up to the mouthpiece, that is also it's just a blur for two. Now this is where it gets interesting. It has an RDTA like system where all the liquids in the bottom and the coil is above. So in theory you have to do that. But it's not that extreme because obviously when, unless you're vaping like that, you don't do that, you vape like that anyway. So it does generally get wicked as well. And don't worry if it's only awful, it will still self wick uh, the only problem you might have is you might have to turn it every now and again but I haven't really had that much of a problem with it to be fair so getting your coil off you twist this little beast take that off and then if you've got nails you can just pop the coil out there you go that is the radial coil if you look it looks a little bit I'll put this back on first crap all over it. If you look, it looks a little bit like a maze, it's basically a mesh, flat structure with cotton underneath. Quite simple. But here's the awesome bit. It's not the first time this system has been used quite often using pods, but to fill it, you just press on there, press it down, and squeeze. And that fills it up from the very bottom. Beautiful. But, the happy days is you put your bottle in, make sure it's pressed into the centre, push down and squeeze. And that works too. So you don't actually have to take it apart to refill, which is absolutely lovely. <laughs> now, so you're wondering about the flavour. The flavour's pretty good. It's not the best uh, whole mouth, full flavour, root and tooting flavour that I can find. However, it is pretty decent. It's probably average slash above average. There is far worse out there. Uh, I do think as well it's not long flavour lasting. On, I don't know if you know what I mean, but on a lot of times you can... <laughs> and the flavour stays about. I found with that. It kind of comes and goes a little bit. Uh, but that's the nature of it, guys. The vapor is pretty average as well. It does put alright vapor. It does output pretty alright vapor. But it's not really as thick and prominent as I would like it. But like this, it, it, as you've just seen, it has got a really good out vapor output. But like, it's just not quite as nice and thick and fruitful as I would like it. Ah. The coil, uh, now you're testing me, I think it's 50 to 80 watt, but the recommended is eight, 75 to 85, 80 to 85. You get me, get the gist. It comes in five colours. Stainless steel, black, blue and rainbow. <coughs> so, um, I'm kind of running out of things to say. 
I can't do that anymore, I better shave. The other downside is, in regards to variety, is the coils. As far as I'm aware, there's only one radio coil. And, let's, you know, a little bit more variety would be nice. But I suppose it's quite a varying uh, coil, so... You could always argue that you don't need others. But I think you do, so... Tell it, Aspire! Come on! Uh, now, let's talk about the giveaway! Matt Carter, Matt Carter, they've won the watch by you all, Amulet. Uh, for the Spire Revo, all you have to do is comment down in the description, make sure you're subscribed, and if I was you, I would ring, read the terms and conditions. Matt Carter, you make sure you message me on Facebook or Instagram in regards to postage. Um, that's all, guys. Uh, I'm really sorry, really sh quick short review. I think I've covered pretty much everything though, so that's good. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -boom. Next week I'm going to review the Free Max disposable tanks. Because I, I, I do sell them and they apparently are very good, but I've never tried one. So I think if I'm going to try one, I may as well review it. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell. And the most important thing thou can do, yes you, make sure you stay cloudy. <laughs>